Today on America's Court with Judge Ross. This woman is an absolute fraud, and she is deceitful, and she's a liar, basically. Her mother insisted she wanted an audition on Broadway. I told her her daughter was not ready for Broadway. The whole purpose behind law is to right wrong. I want justice to be something that isn't this foreign concept. Justice knows no boundaries. The truth will be heard, fair, firm, compassionate. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Plaintiff Kelly Bergman is suing in the amount of $900 she spent on acting lessons for her daughter to prepare for an audition. Ms. Bergman contends the audition did not turn out satisfactorily. Defendant Vivian Prescott says she never represented that the classes would necessarily lead to acting jobs. Is the plaintiff stirring up needless drama, or did this defendant perform poorly? All rise, remain standing, and come to order. The Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. All parties have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Deputy Thomas. All right, this is the case involving Miss Kelly Bergman. Miss Bergman, I understand you are suing. Vivian Prescott in the amount of $900 because your daughter Destiny, who is also here with you, apparently she took some acting lessons and you weren't quite pleased with the result. Is that correct? Yes, it is, Your Honor. All right. Ma'am, tell me your story. Your Honor, this woman is an absolute fraud and she is deceitful and she's a liar, basically. Tell me what happened as it relates to you and your daughter Destiny. Since Destiny was born in the world, she was destined for greatness. I am so there with you. At the family reunions, I mean, she would perform, she would dance, she would sing. So, let me hear from Destiny. What happened to you uh, with Miss Prescott? Well, the flyer said on the, that the acting classes, at the end of them, you would receive an audition. She gave me my classes. So Ms. Prescott gave you vocal classes and then acting classes. Yes, and then also um, and dance. dance dance classes. Very good. Because it was preparing me for Broadway. I was going to have a big Broadway audition at the end of her classes. Got it. So Ms. Bergman, uh, who initiated this conversation or this relationship with Ms. Prescott? Was it your daughter or was it you? It was me, Your Honor. OK. I do everything I possibly can to enhance the talent that I see in my daughter, I take every opportunity. We went to her office, and when we got there, Ms. Prescott proceeded to tell us in, you know, her advertising kind of way that if we took the deluxe package, then she would get 12 lessons three times a week for four weeks, plus an additional two bonus classes for $800. All right. And you made the decision that you wanted the deluxe package, is that Absolutely, correct? because the word deluxe says great, says more, says better. Says me. It says her. Says destiny. Exactly. I understand. So Now, I'm, let me hear from Ms. Prescott. Ms. Prescott, is, is that your recollection of what happened? Uh, to a point. I have from my website uh, what our program is all about. Mm -hmm. That was not on her website when we went it on her website. It has been on my website for a long time. So you're going to interrupt anyway, Ms. Bergman. And I see that it is specified here. It is bolded. You cannot guarantee work for the students. Obviously, my next question would be, what was your assessment of destiny after this period of time? Her mother insisted she wanted an audition on Broadway. I told her her daughter was not ready for Broadway. Why? She needs training. She needs more training before she's ready for Broadway. She, she is ready to be cast in other things. She's just not ready for Broadway. But, Ms. Bergman, I'm going to go back to you. What is it about Ms. Prescott's assessment of your daughter that is not sitting well with you? She never once said she was not talented. She never once said she was not good. She never said any of those things. She continued to but encourage it's a boot her. Camp. So if it's a boot camp, why would there be this expectation over the course of preparing Destiny that you would get that sort of feedback? First of all, I have a lot of friends who are in entertainment. It's a tough 
business. Yes, it is, Your Honor. But that's why I continue to get her all the training she can possibly get so I can bring her to the level where she can compete with the best of them. Once we did all of the classes, I went to Ms. Prescott and I said, what is the situation with the audition? She said that she was, had, she was well connected and she would get Destiny auditions at the end of the deluxe program. Mm -hmm. At the end of it, I went to her. Hold that thought. You just nodded. That is absolutely correct. She, on the other hand, put words in my mouth and said that I was going to get her child on Broadway. That's what this is all about. Her child is not ready for Broadway. When America's Court returns. What I know is the difference between an audition that someone set up and a cattle call. We stood in line for six hours. Okay. And later on America's Court with Judge Ross. He was my boyfriend. What does a 19-year-old and a 51-year-old have in common? Well, they said that she was using me, and uh, as it turned out, they were right. I never asked for the motorcycle. Closed captioning provided by... This is America's Court with Judge Ross. America's Court continues with the case of Bergman versus Prescott. Well, did you give Miss Bergman the information that she could then... She... Yes, I did. She hounded me and hounded me, and I well, contacted... She, a... Hold on. If that was part of the agreement, why would she have to hound you? Exactly. No. She... The I agreement... I amen corner. The okay. agreement, okay. which is stated right there in black and white, is for an audition. It just says nothing about a Broadway audition. I was able to set up auditions for her, but her daughter was too good for those and needed to go to Broadway. So after constantly hounding me, I contacted an actor friend in New York and found out about a Broadway audition that would be in the right category. And you gave that information to And I gave Bird. her the information. Okay, put a period on that. And so, you go to, you go to the audition? We drive 300 miles to this audition from her so-called well-connected folks, and we get there, it is one over a thousand people in line. I am familiar with the acting world. I've been doing this with Destiny since she was a child. What I know is the difference between an audition that someone set up and a cattle call. And this was that a cattle call? That was a cattle mm -hmm. call. If she had said that to us, then we would have been prepared for that. And so did we stood in line for six hours. Okay. Six hours. When she got inside and got on the stage, before she could even open her mouth or say anything, sing anything, tap, twirl, twirl do anything, they had shut it down and said it was over. Because she didn't react. Uh -uh. She no, didn't say no, anything. No, no, She never had to say she was going to promise any auditions. She doesn't have to say that. If you are a professional and you are providing acting classes, then that's your only responsibility is to provide acting classes. If you know the business and you know you can't make promises, then why do that? I mean, and if, if she if, knew if she, she wasn't keep... ready for Broadway, stop, stop, stop. why would she go send us to New Put York? Put a comma, hold on, hold on. The audition didn't work out. No. All right. Were you surprised by that? Yes, I was. Now, given the nature of entertainment, it is all about being able to deal with what? Rejection. Rejection over and over and over. Is she clapping? And over and over and over and over and over and over. I feel like I'm having a manager agent in front of me. And I don't feel like I'm talking to a mom. Here's the issue. We've got $800 for the classes because you're saying you want your money back. Yes. And then you're also saying because you drove 300 miles, you spent about $100 with a gas round trip, you want Ms. Prescott to also pay for that. Yes. I understand. I think what's happening here is you see Destiny at the Oscars. The likelihood is that may not happen. In this particular instance, I find it very difficult to believe that there was anything else Miss Prescott could have done. Your Honor. Listen to me. If she, in fact, allowed you to, to enjoy the benefit of those classes, it is up to destiny to take that and run with it. Because maybe she's not going to be the actress. So don't make excuses for that. Just let her know. This is the reality of what it means to be in this business.
And now you're going to have to decide, Destiny, if you really want to pursue this, because this is going to be a very challenging endeavor we're undertaking. But blaming Miss Prescott sends the wrong message to your daughter. Destiny, you got to get used to it, all right? Judgment in favor of the defendant in this case, ma'am, your claim is denied. That is the order. All right. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim is denied. I am absolutely thrilled with the verdict. The judge was absolutely correct. There's no guarantees in this business. Silver rank.